Hello my dear friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to fix corrupted image or JPEG files. I'm sure, many of you have already searched the whole world for a free tool, and probably ended up with some tools that did not work, or in few cases worked with watermarks or some limitations. However, in this video I'm going to show you three completely free tools, those can help you, in recovering your memorable photos. For a better success rate, you should first understand the basic structure of JPEG, and the root cause of your issue. I'll try my best to keep it simple. At high level, the JPEG file has two main modules. JPEG header and, JPEG data. JPEG header holds information such as image resolution, camera or device info, thumbnail and other details. JPEG data holds the actual image details, stored in a series of rectangular blocks, called MCU or minimum coded unit. If the issue is with JPEG header, you have very high chance of repairing your image, especially when you have another working JPEG file, preferably captured with same camera, with same resolution, orientation and settings. And, if the issue is with JPEG data, then your chance of repairing your image depends on the number of MCUs that are lost, or damaged. In some case the damage could be in both modules, in that case you will need to fix the header first and then try to fix the data. Even if the data damage is beyond recovery, you have a chance of getting your photo in a reduced resolution from the thumbnail of the header module. I will show you how to extract this thumbnail at the end of this video. Before we start, always back up your corrupted image file, to avoid any accidental or further damages. Use initial corrupted file or its direct copy, do not use output of any other photo repair tools. These are possible JPEG issues. Based on these symptoms, let's try to find what is your JPEG file issue, and try to fix the same. The first category is local computer or application issue. When you open the file, you get errors like this. However, when you right-click and open with some other image viewer or editor applications, it works without any issues. This same image file may open perfectly fine in other devices, such as your laptop or mobile phone. If you face these symptoms, please right-click and go to Properties and change the default application. From now on, your image opens without error. Alternatively, you can right-click and open the image with Paint 3D or Snip and Sketch. And save this file with different name. This also fixes the issue. Let's move on to other cases. The fix for the second and third categories are more or less same, so let's look at them together. If missing JPEG header is your issue, you may not be able to open your image in any application or any device. You get some errors like this, but error message may differ based on the application and your device. You may not see image thumbnails in File Explorer. If damage JPEG header is your issue, then your image opens, but it is very unrecognizable. This happens especially if Huffman table, quantization table and color definitions that are part of your header are corrupted. These information are kind of blueprint or map for the data stored in the data area, without this map the system could not properly read the image data. The fix for both these issues, is to get header information from another working JPEG image, that is as close as the corrupted image, preferably taken with the same camera with the same resolution, orientation and other settings. If you are not able to get a working image, you can search internet with camera or device name and resolution details. You may get some matching samples. Please go ahead and download HXD Hex Editor. I have provided all download links at the end of the video description. Once downloaded, install the same in your PC.
Let's go ahead and open HXD. Open both corrupt and working files in HXD editor. What you see is the binary information of your image file. Any mistake you make here may further damage your images, so I once again request you to back up all your files. This entire byte steam includes both image header and image data. From here, we should learn to precisely identify the header, so we can copy it to our corrupted file. JPEG header always starts with FFD8. And JPEG data always starts with FFDA and ends with FFD9. So anything that precedes FFDA can be considered as header. But wait. We already know that header also contains thumbnail, which is a smaller version of the same JPEG image. So if at all your image has thumbnail, it may have another set of these markers as part of header. In some rare cases, a JPEG file can have multiple thumbnails with different resolutions. Therefore, it is always safe to consider anything that appears before the last FFDA as header. Let's go back to our hex editor. On your working good image, select search. Click on find. Choose hex values. Select all. Now type ff space da. And click on search all. From the bottom results, select the last FFDA. Now precisely select the byte before FFDA. Go to edit. Tap on select block. Change start offset to zero. Do not modify the end offset. Ensure hex has been selected. And click on OK. The last FFDA should not be highlighted. Go to edit and select copy. We should take this to our bad or corrupt JPEG file. In your corrupt bad file, do the same steps that we did to highlight the header precisely. Now go to edit and delete the header from corrupt image. Ensure that your cursor is before the FFDA, at offset 0. Go to edit and tap on, paste insert, this should bring the header that we copied from working file. Finally, save this header repaired bad file. Let's go ahead and verify if it has fixed our issue. Wow, issue is fixed and I got my image back. We are now at the last category of JPEG issues, damage JPEG image data. In this case, the image opens, but image areas are shifted and may also have wrong colors. In some cases, you may notice large gray areas in your image. Download JPEG Repair Shop I have provided the download link at the end of this video description. Unzip the file. It does not require any installation. Just double click on jrs.exe to open the application. And tap on Select Image Directory. And navigate to the folder you have your corrupt file. Click on Select Folder. Wait for some time so that the image gets loaded. If the folder has multiple images, then you can use these arrows to choose the image that you want to repair. Before start repairing, we should locate the exact damaged MCU, or the MCU where the damage begins in your image. Open the damaged image in your default image viewer app. Zoom the image if required. Generally, the damaged MCUs can be located near the line of shift. Here we have one damaged MCU. We have another shift at the bottom, let's locate where that shift starts. Somewhere over here, below the fingers we have another damaged MCU. If there are multiple damages, then we should start fixing one by one, from left to right, and top to bottom. Let's go back to our repair tool. Select the first damaged MCU and click on Remove MCU. 
Now we have to fix the image shift either by inserting empty MCUs or by deleting few MCUs. The basic rule is, if the immediate portion below the line is shifted towards left then we should insert some empty MCUs. And, if the immediate portion below the line is shifted towards right then we should delete some MCUs. In my case, it's shifted towards left. So let's go ahead and insert empty MCUs until we get this aligned. For now do not worry about this gray patch, we will see what best we can do later. We will move on to the next damaged MCU. This damage also shifted towards left, so let me insert some empty MCUs. We now got this image completely aligned. It is time to fix wrong colors. Precisely select the MCU where wrong color starts. And, click on fix colors. Do the same for the second damage as well. We have almost got our image back except these two grey patches. Click on save image and save it with different name. To fix these patches, you have to use any of the image editors that you are comfortable with. The more image editing skills you have, the smoother output you get. For someone with basic skills, even MS Paint can be used for this. Open the repaired image in MS Paint. Using Select tool select the best possible match for this patch. Just copy and paste it. Now move it to the gray patch. Do the same for the second patch as well. Save the final repaired image. I wish this method works for you too. I'm going to provide a bonus solution. Which may sometimes work even if the previous solutions did not work. As we've already seen, many of the JPEG files store smaller version of the original image, as thumbnails in header area. Even though the data area is beyond recovery, you still have chance to recover thumbnail image from the header area. Download the small utility called EXIF tool. I have provided this download link at the end of the description. Extract the zip file in the same location where you have the damaged file. Rename it to just EXIF tool. Now open command prompt. With CD command, go to the directory where we have EXIF tool and corrupt file. Use this command, I have provided this command at the end of the video description. You may need to just change the file name at the end of the command. Once you pasted the command, hit enter. Now you can go back to the explorer and check if you got your thumbnail image. I got my image. Congratulations if you also have recovered smaller version of your image. I hope one of these methods helped you. Please keep in mind, not all damages are repairable, even if it didn't work, I hope you've learned something new. Do share your comments below. Please like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get video updates. Thank you so much for watching.